Ah, uh, wait. Wait, you ready? Yeah. Listen, put up away. Right, one, two, three. Hi, my name is Barry. Barry White. Oh, like the singer Barry White? No, no, as in the footballer, Ian White. Oh, right. Yeah, White. Barry White. So tell us a bit about yourself, Barry. Okay, yeah, well, uh, where shall I start? Um, I'm 37 years old, and I was born and bred in Arlo Town, Essex, and I've managed the Arlo Rifles, the local six-a-side football team, for the past five years. Right, I've got a little surprise ahead of the semi-final clash with the Basildon and Bengals. There you go. Come on, Gaffer. How's that? Came out of my own pocket, this M. My name is Emma Clark, nice. and over the past six months, I've been following Barry a disabled wheelchair Fine, user from Harlow yeah. in Essex. Of course not, Joe, you're the goalkeeper. You have got your own proper goalkeeping top already. None of the rest have got that, have they? Yeah, including the 12-year-old Barry nicked it off from the 1980s. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, Gobby. Sky blue, Bazza. It's a bit fucking gay, isn't it? I ain't wearing that. Shall I have mine? During this period, I've also spent some time with his team, the Harlow Rifles. A six-a-side power league football team that Barry manages. Come on, are we up? Rifles. Barry. Life on wheels. I don't care where I'm going, just as long as I'm rolling. nominated you for our series? Ah, oh, it's my good friend Joe. And he loved your last series about that Clive bloke. He actually said something remarkably intelligent the other day, which is somewhat surprising for Joe. He said, uh, Bowie, we're all disabled in some way. <laughs> I have to say, him, I think he's got a point. This is Joe Deer. Joe is the goalkeeper for the Harlow Rifles. He's been lodging with Barry for the past few months. Joe, could you tell us why you nominated Barry for the series? Well, basically, what's the best way to put this? Uh, well, because he's handicapped, I thought... <laughs> no, 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 I'm not handicapped. You are. No, Joe. We've talked about this, haven't we? We're disabled. Americans say handicapped. It's one. <laughs> so because he's a disabled handicapped who does these amazing things like that, um, that goalkeeper from your last series. Clive Bloom. Yeah, Clive Boom. No, Balloon. Balloon, Clive Balloon. Clive Bloom, goalie. Used to play with wee dads up the road. Uh, up in Scotland with Dunny Pace Seniors. Worst team I've never fucking seen in my life, man. Right, you bastard! I'm the best fucking goalie in the world. You think I'm going to waste my time fanning about with that bag of dicks? Yeah, I thought he'd be the, uh, the perfect disabled to documise. So can you tell us about some of the great things that Barry does? Well, yeah. For one, he, uh, he helps people that have recently become wheelchaired. And uh, one. Joe is referring to Barry's other passion. He runs a variety of different activities down at the local community centre. Including this weekly wheelchair aerobics class. And two, and kick, and kick, and kick. Three, two, one, and finish. Finish. Yes. Love that. Love that. Great job, guys. Great job. Wait, right, Joe, you got something, have you? Uh, I don't think so. Go and take the wheelchair uh, back to the fucking storeroom. Sorry, Barry, yeah. Sorry, yeah. Although Joe is not physically disabled, Joe also likes to take part and has earned himself the nickname Teen Wolf amongst the group. And uh, he teaches uh, wheelchair skids to skilled. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Um, and uh, does a lot of stuff for the elderly. So 
he's good, isn't he? Yeah, very good. Yeah. And uh, and I I lost my job recently, became homeless. He let me live in his shed. Oh. Look, look, look. Seen this? Seen that? Look, electricity. It's for the uh, for the microwave. Georgie Foreman. Beans, food, all different food. Call them mod cons. Oh shit, watch that. Don't touch that. Oh, it's still warm. Put that there. Out of the way. Pat Jennings. Best uh, best goalkeeper ever. Big hands. Big hands they called him. And look, there's a... Uh, who's that? Guess who's that? That's me. Yeah. Dog. And, oh look, look at this. Hang on. Oh. Have a look at this, look. Brush my pegs here, and uh, do a little, do a little gentleman's watch if it's, <laughs> if it's uh, not too cold. Um, actually, uh, Barry lets me have a shower once a week, so everything I need, really. And uh, looks like a gun, so I could be James Bond. Oh, ta-da! Look, <laughs> lid goes up. Outdoor facilities, and uh, Keep the loo roll in there. You've got a little plastic bag in there as well for the poo. Nice little shed it is. So what was your job, Joe? Oh, you remember um, polo mints? Yeah. Do you remember the uh, the holes in the middle? Yeah. Yeah, I did that. So you did it by hand then? Yeah. Yeah. Well, I yeah, I operated the machine that, that put the holes in them and uh, then the machine operated by its own. So they didn't need me. And it didn't help that um, I got mint stuck on my thumb. Sometimes if I sniff hard enough, I can still smell the mint. Smell that. Barry has instructed the players to practice their penalties for the forthcoming semi-final with the Basildon Bengals. The Bengals are their fierce rivals in the Essex Power League and tensions ran very high last year when the Rifles lost the quarter-final in a penalty shootout. Love it! Hello? Where are you? I don't care, just hurry up. Hey? No, of course I don't have any bloody tampons. What kind of a quiz? Alright, look. Five minutes. Alright, just hurry up, okay. Your big news. <laughs> You're going to have to wait a little while longer for that bombshell, Em. Um, well, why don't you tell us some more about the players? Yeah, yeah, okay. Well, you know, good bunch of lads, train hard, play well, and I think I'm gradually getting their respect. In... Well, one of you fucking retards did that. Hey? You keep laughing, you'd be doing shuttle ones. You okay, Barry? Yeah, I'm fine. Actually, no, I'm not fucking having that. Hey! Sorry about that. Oh, here we go. Time to make my big announcement. All right, boys, in you come. Cool Sky Sports, get Jim White on the phone. I've got some breaking news on a new signing. Oh, Ruth? Ruth is a female and a much Ruth. needed addition to the team. Ruth, Ruth, come on. Introduce yourself to Emma and the cameraman. After losing not one, but two players due to an altercation at the quiz night down at the local pub. Go on, go on. Yeah, all right, go on. One team member was arrested and the other hospitalised. Yeah, well, if why don't you crouch, crouch down and sit, sit. Yeah. Okay, why don't you introduce yourself? Um, hello, my name's Ruth. I'm 29 years old and I'm from Harlow, Essex. Yes, thank you, Ruth. It's not blind date, though. Blind what? So what made you join the rifles? Well, I'll do the cooking down the local community centre. Ruth is referring to the local community centre where Barry runs his various wheelchair activities. Remember the Simbins in action?
Barry discovered Ruth's talents while we were filming Barry's wheelchair dodgeball class a few weeks ago. Hashtag, that girl can. And now what, Ruth? Hey. Hashtag. Yeah, I know what a hashtag is, thanks, Barry. That girl can what? Are you being a perv? I'm not a slag, you know. No, 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 it's, just, it's a saying about women in the sport of women. You've not seen the ad on TV. No, mate, I've not got a TV. It's got flicks on my tab. Look, look, here we go, here we go. This is Jimmy's first season as team captain. And so far, there have been a few teething problems with his conduct. Come on, I'm hey, Jimmy! Oh, fuck! There's him a while standing right next to you! Look at him, Barry! A wide open one, pass it! Oh, shut up and have a shave, you silly cop! Not bad. What are you down there, love? Excuse me? You heard sugar tits. Oh, I'm sorry, love. Is it a blowjob you're after? You want me to get that tiny, little, pathetic oh. mushroom cock and put it well, in my mouth in front down. of the cameras? Is that what well, you want, sugar plums? Just having a laugh. Come on in, Gobby. Show us the little right. soldier. See that? Fucking mental case. Thank you, Jimmy. Jesus, it's more like a carry-on film than a documentary. <laughs> Jimmy Chimes, team captain, Aries. Now, what do you do for a living, Jimmy? Black cab driver. All right, in London. No, no, it's more local areas, really. So just the suburbs, taxi verbs, then? No, no, I've got a badge for London and the suburbs. You know, you, you know the knowledge. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I, I've got all the knowledge. You know, that's all in my nut, isn't it? Fully downloaded, yeah. I'm just not too keen on sitting in traffic. Probably not the best career choice, then. Well, it was either that or modelling. Would modelling not have been more glamorous? Yeah, maybe, yeah. But I'm just, you know, I'm not too keen on getting my picture taken. Are you married? Nah. Nah, nah, nah. I'm still in with mum and dad at the minute. Oh, shit. You know, I'm not keen on all that shit. I'm too young for it. You know, I'm quite enjoying just taking my time, you know, pulling the odd bird here and there. And how old are you? 35. Amaraj Anand is 41 years old and originally hailing from Wolverhampton. I used to have my own local taxi firm, did really well for a while, then bloody Uber come along. Went bloody bust, didn't I? So what do you do now? Now I drive a bloody Uber, innit? Fucking Uber, wanker. Fuck off, mummy's boy. What'd you say to me? Death as well as dumb, are you? Jimmy and Amaraj struggled to see eye to eye. Jimmy, like most London black taxi drivers, has an underlying resentment of drivers who work for Uber. Jimmy! What? Oops! <laughs> Sorry, Jimmy! <laughs> this is Tommy O'Connor. Tommy is notorious in the locality and feared by many due to his questionable approach to peacekeeping. Get up, you pusta! Fucking over and out! Jimmy is not having the best of days. Here we go! So what do you do for a living, Tommy? None of your fucking business, Whoa. love. Whoa! It's kind of the point of being interviewed, Tommy. All right. It's fine. Um, let's try another question. Um, is Barry a good football manager? <laughs> yeah, he's the bollocks. Kind of reminds me of Harry Redknapp on wheels. <laughs> Redknapp on wheels. Brilliant. So, Tommy, is there a lady in your life? Yeah, a few, actually. Yeah, I love them. Love everything about them. Tits ass. Can't get enough of the muff. And what do you think about Ruth, then? Marks out of ten? I'd give her one. <laughs> um, I meant more about her joining the team. Yeah, I don't really care as long as she can play. I don't give a shit. Bye, uh, listen up, come in, listen. So, next week is the Bengal semi. <laughs> Bengal yeah. semi? That's what Raj gets when he's banging his cousin, isn't it? Oh no, sorry, my mistake. I mean, why? No, mate. <laughs> That's what I get on a Tuesday when your mum gets in my Uber after bingo. Oh. And likes a bit of bangra with a bingo, <laughs> innit? <laughs> Raj, ignore him. Don't wise to it, please. <laughs> Semi. Anyway, where was I? Buzz on Bengals, you know this lot. They're a dirty bunch. Don't let them intimidate you. I like to see them fucking try. Mm. Wasn't really aimed at you, Tommy. More towards all mouth and no trousers there. Right, easy, Barry. Right, come on. We know what we've got to do. Let's not let these bloody Bengals get another one and over us. Yes, yes. Why right, back come in on. the cage. Yeah. Some free on free. Come on, 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 boys and girls. Jimmy. Yeah. Got your oh, cheers, Joe. Nice one, mate.
This is August Ford Walters, the youngest and most talented player in the team. Oi! What? Well, because you think I'm from a council seat that I'm all Jeremy Kylander the month I was born. Sorry, no, I just assumed that. Well, don't you. assume nothing then, fam. Was that she named after August Wilson, American playwright who won a pilot surprise twice? Wow, um, so your middle name's Ford, is that after Henry Ford? No, 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 no. It's after the uh, Ford Galaxy. My dad used to work for Addison Lee, you know. Where's the zone? That's where I was conceived. So how long have you been playing for rifles? Second season, bro. Top score of both seasons. Yes, very stealth-like indeed. I like to call him the Black Panther. Yeah, and I like to call him the Black Man because of his massive... Shut it, Jimmy. Yeah, racist bastards. Oh, no, 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 not in a racist way. Well, in what way then, cuz? Well, in a way that you're very quick and... And black and... No. Well, yeah, I suppose, but that's not racist, is it, Emma? It is a bit racist, though. Well, look, I'm going to have to disagree. I don't recall calling a colour person. Whoa, 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 there, bruv. You can't say that. Say what? Coloured? That seems extremely racist, though. Hey? Really? I thought that's what you're supposed to say. Yeah, if you were stuck in the 90s, bruv. Man like dinosaur and wheels. Yes. Right, OK. So, what are we supposed to call you, Ernie? Who? Black people. Yeah, well, you could try by our names, but if you really want to categorise, then the correct terminology is black people. Right. Okay, well, the only questionable thing about being called a black panther is the panther part. And what's racist about that? Nothing. Jimmy's mum has made a corned beef hash for dinner, and he's running late. Well, let's see. This morning, I'm off to give my ex some money for my little boy. Oh, so you're married? Nah. Nah, not anymore. What's your son's name? Little Witchy. He's, he's my pride and joy. It's Thursday, Joe. What? I said it's Thursday. I said... Can you just open the door? I'm really sorry about this, oh, Emma. Okay. It's Thursday, Joe. Is it? Yes, it is. We're trying to do this documentary. Could you not have just had a shower today, though? <laughs> I'm not worried about that. That just wouldn't work. Why? Right. where were we? Here you go, Ems. Thank you. Is Joe allowed to use the kitchen? Mm, nah, not really. But he's got electric in the shed, so he can do most things in there. Plus, he's a messy little sort. Do you like dogs, Joe? Yeah. Yeah, I love them. Picture there, look. What do you love about them? I never let you down, did I? Do you want some? Oh, no, I'm good, thanks. Barry not let you eat those in the house? No. No. He says I'm too messy. It's always very tired in there. It's always really clean. Clean as a thistle, they say. Whistle? Hmm? Whistle? Yeah. No, I'm not. Can whistle. Is that a photograph of your mum and dad though? What, there? Mm-hmm. That's me down and granddad. They, um, he prevented me when I was growing up. What happened to your parents? <laughs> my um, my dad killed my mum in a car accident not long after I was born, and uh, he was drunk. Then he went to prison. Then he owned himself.
Do you like dogs? Yeah, I do. Yeah. How often do the rifles train? Well, once a week, really. If we're lucky, but mostly every other week. Depends on when the lads are about, really. Sometimes, me and Joe just do some goalkeeping practice together. Yeah, you can half throw a mean ball. He's got hands like a gorilla. You smell like a gorilla. Barry and Joe are getting in some extra goalkeeping practice. Joe can easily be distracted, much to the dismay of Barry. A load of that. What a salt. Looks a bit like Tommy, doesn't it? Dressed as a bird. <laughs> I'll tell him that next time I see him. No, don't tell him. I'm only joking. But joking or not, Joe is actually right. Something I discovered and which Tommy had not yet shared with his teammates at the time of filming. Tommy is, in fact, a cross dressing homosexual called Tamsin. Both Tommy and Tamsin have a voracious appetite for men. Hit. Nice ass. I'd say. Team photo. In you come. Four at the back, you at the front, you at the back, you at the back. Tommy, Tommy! Tommy. Right, here, here. Stand next to Raj. Raj, you stay. Here we go. We good? Waffles on three. One. Two. Wait, 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 do it together. One, one, look forward, stop looking at me. Rifles on three. One, two, three. Rifles. Good job, good job. Brilliant. Back to training. Oh, we 